With cold and flu season upon us, you may notice those pesky coughs and colds tend to show up during or before your period. And if you already deal with PMS or painful periods, then catching a bug on top of that is the last thing you need. So in today's video, I explain how your immune system shifts throughout your cycle. The time between your period and ovulation is known as the follicular phase and it's like your inner spring. Your energy is starting to come back, you know, spring cleaning might feel like a good idea and you're ready to venture out into the world after um, feeling more reclusive and needing more rest during menstruation. And your immune system is also strongest at this stage of your cycle. You tend to have higher levels of antibodies um, and also increased inflammatory response. It's uh, thought that rising levels of estrogen during this phase um, of your cycle may be responsible for that increased immunity um, but this can be challenging if you have an autoimmune condition so um, symptoms can flare up at this time um, but it's also the time when you're much less likely to catch a cold or a flu because the healthy inflammation and increased levels of antibodies means that it's easier for you to fight an infection the middle of our cycle when we ovulate is like our own inner summer we are blooming like a flower and buzzing with energy for the most part and we're also riding off the back of the estrogen increase of our follicular phase however it wears off quickly after ovulation when our estrogen levels they take a dive and um, along with then the associated antibody increase and that uh, helpful bit of inflammation so this makes way for our luteal phase also known as our inner autumn and unsurprisingly the time when we're more likely to get sick and catch a cold after you ovulate progesterone increases even though estrogen rises again in the luteal phase progesterone rises more and gives you a higher ratio of progesterone to estrogen progesterone has so many benefits and uh, my favorite being its calming effect uh, but it's also linked with the down regulation of the immune system and for good reason um, evolutionarily speaking you know one of progesterone's main tasks is to get the uterus ready ready to um, accept implant and maintain a fertilized egg progesterone also prevents the muscle contractions from happening in the uterus that would cause the woman's body to reject an egg so the inflammatory response dampens down now too potentially preventing um, immune interference with conception um, and while this you know has a positive effect on many chronic conditions it's not ideal for your immune system as we said you know inflammation is um, actually really important in acute instances like fighting a pathogen there is scientific research that also suggests that you may, you may be more likely to catch a cold right before your period in that late autumn stage, right at the end of your luteal, luteal phase, um, as certain levels of um, immune cells, including T, uh, regulatory T cells, are reduced just before you bleed. Um, and lastly, let's talk about inner winter menstruation. Many women find that getting sick during their period, um, but you know, technically, the immune system is more active again at this time so you know, what is the deal with these period colds um well it could be you know a matter of timing and um, you're more likely to pick up a bug during those last premenstrual days and pathogens generally take a few days to incubate before your symptoms start to appear so hence that delayed reaction the good news is that uh, rest is really important for helping you fight an infection um, and it's also one of the best things to do while you're bleeding. So if you do get a cold during your period, take it as a sure sign that you need more rest. It doesn't mean you have to stay in bed all day, but as much as possible carve out time around menstruation to rest. A quick note about hormonal contraceptives. Um, these hormonal shifts that I'm talking about and um, that affect our immune system are generally suppressed if we take hormonal birth control. Um, if you're on the pill and still bleed each month, remember that is a withdrawal bleed rather than a period. So it can be harder to pinpoint um, when your immune system is stronger or weaker when you don't have that true um, menstrual cycle. It's also worth noting that um, research has found that use of combined oral contraceptives is associated with an increase in autoimmune conditions. They also found that progesterone only contraceptives were um, associated with a lot of skin issues um, as well as joint pain and um, joint diseases like arthritis. So from that bit of research, it seems to me that this monthly fluctuation in our immune system is really important for our overall immune health. Yes, we might be more likely to catch a cold just before our period, but those natural hormonal uh, fluctuations also seem to be helpful in maintaining healthy immune function and reducing our susceptibility to autoimmune conditions. 
And if you're prone to catching a cold before your period, as a herbalist, I'd really recommend taking echinacea. Uh, you can take it throughout your cycle, but it's especially important then at ovulation and in the second half of your cycle. Um, and if you do come in contact with a pathogen during your luteal phase when your immune system is weaker, the echinacea will give you that extra support needed to fight off the infection and um, to reduce your symptoms as well and also reduce the amount of time that you're feeling sick.